All right, so when we do the, the PD800W, we have a reference probe and you have a meter probe. The reference probe and meter probe talk to each other through RF signals antenna to antenna. When you do a battery check on the reference probe, you turn it on test and you'll see the battery on the reference probe show up on the meter probe. So there, and that proves one, the battery voltage, and it also proves that they're talking to each other. You can use these, these tools, the PD800W, you can use this as a digital voltage indicator, just like we did with the VD1000. Exactly the same. So it's a great voltage indicator. That's one function. So you got URD and you got overhead settings, depending on where you are compared to the ground plane, right? But here, Bradley and I are going to go ahead and use the tool as a phasing meter. And when you go to DEG degrees, go ahead to degrees, young man. Okay. When you go to degrees, what the tool becomes is a phasing meter and it's not looking at potential. That's it. Done. It's only looking at the phase angle that's being generated from that Honda generation plant that has wheels on it. Okay. So it's only looking at the phase angle. If I use the reference probe on a known A phase, then that's the, that's the reference that we're using coming out of the plant first. That's zero, A. Then, then the sequence, because A is our reference, is A, B, C. So it's zero degrees. If, if Mr. Bradley touches an A phase, he gets zero because it's the same phase, it's a match. B phase would be 120 and a blue light. Then the C phase would be 240 degrees. The second phase out of sequence from the reference and you get a red light. See how that works? Zero is a reference. So it's A, B, C. B is 120. C is 240 degrees. Then we're back to zero. Okay. All right. Now, if you're using this tool as a phasing meter and you just want to match, you don't care about phases, phases, you don't care about phases. If you get on one side, the white light, because it's energized, white light is hot or not. Okay. And then Mr. Bradley takes his tool, goes on the other side before he makes the tie and he gets a white light and he gets close to zeros or zeros, then he knows it's a match. Same phase, regardless of phase. You just want to match, that's fine. Okay. All right. So I'll put the, this reference in degrees. If that A phase is energized, we'll see a white light. Okay. White light. So we know our A is, is energized. And then we also know that we can phase transmission. We could phase a 120 receptacle. We can phase uh, high side or low side of a substation. We could phase any potential using this tool because it's not looking at, I mean, it is looking at the phase angle, but not the potential. So don't care about potential. So it doesn't care what component of your system you're phasing. It doesn't care about that. It's just looking at the phase angle. All right. So you got it in degrees? Yeah, degrees? All right. So go ahead to the passive test point. Okay. Zero is white light. Okay. Come on. What phase is that? Go to that hot bushing. 20,000 volts, 200 volts. Don't care about potential. There you go. What's your light? Blue light. So what phase is that? E phase. Look at that. Man.